we're here to talk about Venerable and the Oaks. Probably your ultimate rep would be Test of Faith on, on Hamiltonian Day, that's before. So it's nice when you've got the horse of the year to drive and then you're using that as a bank to kind of get prep for the Hamiltonian, make you feel real good, right, for the Oaks? Yeah, yeah, she, she, <laughs> she, she, she's awesome. I mean, like, she's an awesome horse. And I mean, like, um, I, I actually, rank her as like one of the best horses I ever set behind. I mean, like, uh, you know, I've driven her since she's been two and, uh, um, no pan intended still top, right? No pan intended. That was my, yeah, cin that yeah. was my Cinderella horse. Yeah, that, that, that was, that was your boy. Triple crown, breeder's crown, all, all, pretty much every race he could win, he won. So he it, did. He won a triple crown. Yeah. 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 I think, I think he, he's I the think last he was... one to win the triple crown too. Yeah. Yeah. This guy right here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like Venerable, she's uh she she's a great horse. And I mean like uh she's proved that uh over and over again. I mean she had a sensational two year old season and uh started off a little slow this year, but uh seems to be coming into form right now. My one question would be, and I know you and Nifty, you know, you guys have teamed up for a lot of great horses over the years. Your main rivals are not in your race. Jiggy Jog and Joviality jumped to the Hamiltonian. Do you think that if, now we had a little error in the Breeders' Crown last year with Venerable. Um, you know, every horse is allowed a bad day every once in a while. We'll allow that, right? That, that's okay. Yeah. Do you think if she won the Breeders' Crown, there'd be more pressure to put her in the Hamiltonian? Ah, uh, no. no, not not really. You know, like like we we had talked about it, and like like I said, this year started off slow. She you know she run she made a break in the Jersey Sire Lake final, and she just seems to be coming in into form into form right now. And uh, it was not a question, you know, that was never even brought up to to uh, put her in the Ham Hamiltonian. You know, so uh, what if she had just squeezed by Joviality? Because you guys that that battle in the Dell Miller. That's yeah. that is one of the best races, you know. I mean, we're there's five races a year usually where you're like that, where you get two top horses just duking it out for a quarter of a mile. And yeah. it, I mean, I know she came up on the wrong side of it, but man, if she had got her nose out on front, we may be seeing uh, a little flip there. Yeah. Well, maybe I don't know, but you know, we we, we were really happy with her that night. She raced really good, and we felt that was her first really good race of the year. So, you know, we're just kind of like starting now, you know, and like we, we, we feel really confident with her going into the Hamiltonian Oaks. I mean, like she seems to be back on track and uh, um, I, I, I feel good about her. There's a great, uh, I had the camera on Manon. I think it was Manon in the, was Manon in your race? I think it, she was in your yes. race. I had the camera on her and um, there's a great view of you in the stretch and you look like you're having a cup of coffee. You could, I don't know, maybe you were asleep. You could be doing whatever you wanted in the stretch. Nobody was getting by Venerable. It must be nice to, uh, to have that kind of horsepower where you're just like, yeah, we're, we're, nobody's touching us. Yeah, no, I, I, I felt really good with her, elim, her, her elimination race, you know. Um, maybe just a little bit uh, down by the wire. She got a little bit quiet there, but uh, you know what? Um, I felt good about it, and after watching the other other limbs that night, mm -hmm. um, I was real happy with her. You know, she was the only one that cut it out. Other than rebuff, she was the only one that cut a mile that night and won. Oh. So I'm actually going into the race thinking that she's probably at her best right now. Uh, last question: When you've got you racing against all these horses all the time, you know pretty much every class, every horse, right? You know what their strengths, what their weaknesses are. When two, I would say two horses, you have Yanaba and Warawizenya, who are not on your regular circuit, right? Yeah. Like Yanaba's up in Vernon and Warawizenya's from Canada. You don't know those horses. You don't know their tendencies. I know you could watch them on you know, film and kind of hear about them, but when you have wildcard Zenya won her limb, Yanaba was second, extremely strong fillies, do those kind of things, like a little bit of wild card, do those factor in your head? Like, hmm, I gotta worry about those horses a little bit. Oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah, I mean, like, she raced unbelievable, you know? And I mean, like, if she gets any type of trip, we're, we're gonna have to beat her. I mean, uh, but my, my mare's coming in the race, I, I, I feel really good about her, you know? Like, like uh, she was strong, 
and like things of uh, the, the things of our problems. I think we got those behind us. So um, yeah, I, I'm I'm feeling really confident about her, and uh, I, I think she's got a really good shot. We got a long season ahead of uh, uh, of her, so you know hopefully she can. She was two year old rookie of the year. Now let's go on a three-year-old and then, uh, you know, just keep winning, stacking Breeders' Crown. She's got to win her Breeders' Crown. She's got to win all those other things. So keep stacking them and, uh, you know, enjoy the rest of the season. And good luck in the Hamiltonian Oaks. Well, thank you. She, she has enough ability. Like, she has enough ability and she's a good enough horse. You know, it, it, just things, you know, and I think she's coming into her form right now. So I, I, I think we're in good shape. Rock and roll.